Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art and today I am back with another Sam Lee drawing where each day I draw Sam Hewen leading up to his birthday. Kind of like a little gift and also a little something something for all the fans who also love him and like to celebrate this way. Uh, my, my talent is art and I love to draw and so I thought why not go and draw this man. He is a lovely man, he's a lovely actor and I've been having a lot of fun. Now, this one I liked because it was kind of like a sepia tone, um, black and white cover, so it was a little bit easier for me to uh, get my hands on and work because working in color can be quite frustrating. Mind you, this also makes me go and check how well I know my values of light and dark. <laughs> but um, you can see that I start drawing him in my sketch in that it looks pretty weird, but it trust me, it'll get better once I've gone over and done the line art and everything. It'll be much better. It took me a while to get this one, um, the pose and everything, but I, I did it and I'm glad that I did it. So thank you so much, you guys, that have been leaving comments and uh, sharing the video. It's been really nice to see and I'm so grateful for all of you who have come to watch this and hopefully someday Sam will see these videos. Who knows, perhaps he has, but he hasn't said anything because let's face it, he's a celebrity. <laughs> it would cause a, quite a commotion, but uh, hopefully he sees these someday. And if he does, um, hi Sam, uh, happy birthday. Uh, I hope you enjoy these. Well, when I was doing the coloring, I actually selected some of the colors from it and I um, was very surprised to see how much this actually looked like a skin tone. I understand that sepia, it's not quite as yellow as sepia. I'd say it's more like a ready brown, but uh, I really had a difficult time making sure that I got his suit jacket to look right. Um, and also the shading on his face, just again, such a unique, features on his face so it's really hard to get all the planes on his face like all the dimensions and all the different spaces that have its own type of shading that need to be done um also i don't think i've drawn watches as much as i have while drawing sam hewen because i just don't tend to draw accessories so this has been a lot the background's not that important, so I just put something in there and blurred it out so he's the main focus, kind of like it is in the actual photo for the photography. But yeah, I've been, uh, I've been working a lot and doing my best to get all these done and ready for you guys, and I've had a heck of a time getting back into drawing, but it's all good. It's all good and I have been trying really hard to really push myself to get things done the way that I'd like them to be and hopefully I can put these in a portfolio because honestly I think I've drawn him like 50 times. Maybe not on my channel but for real I have. I've drawn him so many times but I, I even recently met a fan at my job <laughs> of Outlander so hopefully you know i'm able to share these with other people who enjoy them at like a comic con or something someday that would be really fun um i have done art markets though similar not not in a convention where everything's fan art but i have done stuff of that kind so right now he looks a little bit odd with just his face shaded and his hand so i thought let's go in and shade his hair uh, I kind of go a little overboard with the highlights, but I love highlights. It's hard. You have to really watch yourself because too much, then it's not special anymore. and doesn't look good anymore. And the stubble. Um, I have a brush that I called stubble, which is basically just a little dotting brush. And I try and use that, but he also has like actual whiskers, like strands, not just like little pinpricks like I draw. So I wanted to make sure that he didn't look like um, he had like a hobo beard, <laughs> but like an actual nice tailored one that fit his face. Also, I love the expression he has in this, raising his eyebrow. He just looks so, I don't quite know how to put it. Mm, mysterious or, he, 
taunting, not taunting. I don't know, you come up with it. But I have an idea, I just can't find the word. But yeah, I, uh, I really had to go in and figure out all the folds of his clothes and to make sure I got it all right. Um, poses like this are actually kind of hard for me to get um, to make sure I measure the arms correctly, the distance from the shoulder to the chin, um, and the chest down, making sure the arms not like really long or the hands not the wrong size. It's, it's a lot more work than I ever say, but it it's worth it in the end, right? Because by the end, I have a whole bunch of pieces to show. So, so far, which one has been your favorite Sam week? I'm saving my favorite drawing for his actual birthday. And so hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. But <laughs> yeah, here it is, the finished piece. There it is, Mr. Gentleman himself, Sam Hewen. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please make sure to check out my other Sam Wink videos if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.